This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the trunk lock from a Mazda 6 sedan, I believe the 2008 model. I do have the key to it. You can see it's a factory Mazda key, and this lock works very, very nicely. Before we get to picking this lock, there's four features about it that I wanted to point out to you. The first has to do with this wire that comes off of the lock assembly. If we look at the back of the cylinder, we can see this white sensor clipped to the back. That is a sensor that detects rotation in the lock core and feeds that information into the security system for the car. So the car knows if the core turns on the trunk lock and the car knows if the trunk opens. If the trunk opening is not accompanied by either the core turning or someone using the key fob to open the trunk, the car knows to set the alarm off. The interesting aspect of this for us is the act of picking the lock also disables the alarm. Next item I wanted to point out is this spring that you see right in the middle of the screen. This applies tension directly to the core, so we will be fighting that tension as we pick the lock. Next, that you can see a window in the top of the lock here that gives us direct access to the wafers. It's the closest look you're going to get at the wafers today because to disassemble this lock, you can see we have to remove factory crimps, and we're not going to do that because I don't want to destroy this little faceplate. I don't have a replacement. However, you can watch me insert the key and all the wafers go into place. I believe there's nine of them, four that pick down and five that pick up. And you can see pretty easily how that core works. These wafers are a little bit different in that the ends of them are angled and that causes counter rotation when you pick them, makes everything just a little bit harder. The final feature I wanted to point out to you before we start picking is the shutter that you can see guarding the keyway. This shutter has to be pushed out of the way as we're picking, and to do that I'm using a special tension tool designed exactly for locks like this. You can see the shutter has two prongs. We squeeze them together, put it into the lock, and then use this tool to tension it. And this tool also has two prongs on either, I'm sorry, two notches on either prong, and those notches lock the tool into the keyway and make it so it won't slip while you're picking. So let's get this in there. You can see it's locked in pretty tightly. And let me cover this window so it's not like picking a cutaway lock, and let's get started. I'm gonna start with the wafers that pick down. Okay, click out of one, click out of two, click out of three, click out of four. There's only four of them. There's five that pick up. Click out of one, click out of two, click out of three. I think I might have heard something drop. Click out of four. Click out of five. I think I heard something else drop. Let me check the bottom here again. Number one, two, three, four, nothing there. So all of our work is up top right now. Okay, click out of one. Nothing on two, click out of three, and we opened up. Okay, so as you can see, not a whole lot of time to get into this lock, and it does have the added bonus of disabling the alarm system on the lock. So, all in all, not the greatest security on the trunk of your Mazda, but probably enough to keep most thieves out. That's all I have for you on this Mazda 6 trunk lock. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.
Thank you.